The Wonderful Wizard of Oz Chapter 1 The Cyclone Dorothy lived in the midst of the great Kansas prairies with Uncle Henry, who was a farmer, and Aunt Hem, who was the farmer's wife. Their house was small for the lumber lumber to build. It had to be be carried by wagon many. Wagon many. Mills mills miles there was there were four whales. Four walls, a floor, and a roof, which made one room, and this room contained a rusty, 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 look, rusty, looking cook stove, a cup. A cupper, a cupboard, for the dishes, for the dishes, a table, three or four chairs, and the, and the bed, and the beds, um, and the beds. Uncle Henry and Aunt M. Aunt M. Aunt M. had a big bed in one corner and in one corner, and Dorothy a little bed in another corner. There was no greater. There was no garret at all, and no cellar, no cellar except a small hole dug in the ground called a cyclone. A cellar. A cyclone cellar. Where the where the family could go in case one of those great go, great whirlwinds arose might eat. Enough to crush a, a, a crush any bu building it in its path. It was reached by a trapdoor in the mid mi middle of the floor, from which a later ladder ladder led down into the small dark hole. When Dorothy stuck, stood in the doorway and looked around, she could see nothing but the great gray prairie on either side. Not a tree, nor nor, nor a house broke the br the br the broad sweep of flat country that reached the the to to the edge of the sky. No. Oh, in all directions. Oh. 
the the sun had bagged. Sun had bagged. The the plod the plod the play. The plow land into a gray mass with little cracks running through it. Even the grass was not green, for the sun had burned the tops of the long bl bl blades. And hell, they were were the same gray color to to the same gray color to be seen everywhere. Once the house had been painted, but the, painted, but the sun bl blistered the paint, and the rain and the rains. <laughs> The rain washed it away, and now the house was as dull and gray as everything else. When Aunt Em came there to live, she was a a young, pretty wife. The sun and wind had changed her to, changed her to. They had taken the sparkle, the sparkle from her eyes and left, and left them a, a sober, Sober, gray. They had taken the red from her. From she is taking the red from her cheeks. Her cheeks and lips. And they were gray also. She was thin. Say thin. Thin. Thin and and, and gaunt and and never smiled. Now when Dorothy, who was an orphan. First came to her aunt M had aunt M had been so so sta star startled startled by the the child's laughter for after. Laughter that she would scream and press her hand up on her heart when 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 ever press Dorothy Mary Mary voice reached her ears and the still and she still looked at the at the. Little, little girl with wonder that she could find anything to laugh, laugh at. Uncle Henry never laughed. He worked hard from morning till night. And did not know what, what joy, what joy, know what joy was he, joy was. He was gray also, also. From his long beard to his 
rough boots. And he looked He looked stern and and solemn, 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 and real, really spoke. Rarely spoke. It was Toto that made Dorothy laugh and saved her from growing as gray as her other suffer. Surroundings. Toto was not gray. He was a little black dog with long, with long silk, silky, silk, silky hair and small black eyes that twinkled merrily on. Either side of this 